Hey there, welcome to another free mini lesson by Shola. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shola, and this is another free mini lesson for you to improve your English skills. So this is called Rethinking Common Expressions. There are many expressions we use in our daily language. Some are proverbs and some are idioms. So first, let's just look at the difference. Proverbs are specific sayings that impart some type of wisdom, usually passed on from our ancestors. And idioms are expressions that cannot be taken literally word for word. It's just that together, these certain words take on a new meaning. Uh, they have their own based on the cultural context and understanding. So that's what we mean by expressions. It might be a proverb or it might be an idiom. Either way, it's an expression. So a basic web search will lead you to lists like this where you can see multiple different proverbs and you might be familiar with some of these. A basic search could reveal a long list of different idioms such as these. And Many websites such as fluentu.com have compiled lists of proverbs and idioms for you. So this is a great tool. It's a great place for you to go so that you can practice these expressions. Now, the first expression I'd like for us to rethink today is time heals all. Maybe you've heard this, maybe it also exists in your native language. And people always say this when something negative happens. Um, if you experience loss in any form, people often comfort you with this expression, time heals all, just give it some time. It'll get better with time. Well, I recently saw this advertisement in uh, my city here in Seville, Spain, and it just got me thinking, you know, that's right. We can't just say time heals all because no, just because time passes doesn't mean that whatever hurt you is going to go away or be healed. It mm -hmm. takes effort. It takes work. What matters is what you do with the time. So I'd like for us, for us to, to reconsider the expression time heals all and instead say time heals all if you know what to do with it. So when we experience loss or difficulties in our life, we can't just let time pass and hope things get better. We need to be proactive. We need to have a growth mindset and every day do something positive towards progress and towards growth and towards healing. The next expression is the grass is always greener on the other side. This expression is used when you think that someone else has, has it better. Uh, when someone else's experience is easier or better than your own. Uh, you know, the grass is always greener on the other side. Or it's often used to express that, that you want something you don't have. Um, and so sometimes we look at other people who may seem successful or have what we want, um, but we don't realize maybe they have some problems and issues too. It's not all perfect like we imagine it to be. So let's rethink this expression. Instead of just wishing we had someone else's fortune or someone else's experience in life, instead of saying the grass is always greener on the other side, let's say the grass is always greener where you water it. So no matter what your situation is, if you take care of it, like you water the grass, if you nurture your situation, it can improve and it can be better. So that's it. I just wanted to quickly chat about those two expressions that I'd like for us to rethink. Now, are there any expressions, whether it be proverbs or idioms, that you would like to rethink? Comment and share. Let me know which expression you'd like to rethink and maybe what led you to that conclusion. Um, what is your position? If you have any questions or if you would like to continue a conversation like this with me, just hop on over to my website where you can sign up for a free consult. Uh, we can meet face to face in a video call and we can start having classes to practice your English conversation. Mm -hmm.